Mind if I go, you already know what it is. And I got to show y'all something. Y'all go back and watch my last video, how to make a winning ticket live use a fan duel. Okay, if you would have watched that video, you would have took notice to the ticket that I gave you. Now, this video was over a month ago, but I just had to come back and show y'all because it's my first video. That ticket that I gave y'all and how to make a winning ticket live, it was gold, and if you didn't follow it, that was your loss, you understand? And you did lose, yes, you did. It was a seven-leg parlay. Go watch the last video, how to make a winning ticket using FanDuel. But as you can see, I gave y'all them teams on that video. You go back and watch it, you'll see. And that ticket won. And yes, I did put 26 on it, and I won $1.28, but that's not the point. The point is, you could have put you $50 or $100 on it, and I came up there with off the top of my head. And to remind you, I do not watch sports. I did not watch a college basketball game. You know what I'm saying? I just simply picked with the trend. I went with the trend. I went with what I know. You understand what I'm saying? I kept it simple, and I wanted me something. And just, just to show y'all, grandmama, auntie, uncle, everybody can do this. You know what I'm saying? But there was a fan do a seven-leg parlay. Go watch my old video. Go watch all my old videos because I make I don't make them for nothing. So, <clears throat> if you go watch that old video, how to how to win using FanDuel, how to make a winning ticket, I gave you this ticket. So, with that being said, I got something to show y'all today. But y'all do see that the proof is in the pudding. So, that's why I'm showing you. Could have been $100. Could have been $50. Could have been $10. Either way, it goes a profit. You understand what I'm saying? I made me a dollar. I probably... Use that dollar to make another dollar. You understand what I'm saying? But it was just an example. So I'm going to show y'all something new today. Well, it ain't really new, but it is new because it's a new MLB season. You understand what I'm saying? And if you already know from my previous video, which you probably ain't watched, so you need to go back and watch. And you need to uh, hit that red button. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, First inning winning, that was my thing. Since this trying to start, I always had like first inning. So I'm going to show y'all what I like. I'm going to show you how to make a winning first inning ticket. And, yes, I have an advantage because I bet first inning every year, and I do know these pitchers, even though they haven't pitched any games this year. I'm going to give you a good guesstimate, estimate, guesstimate. Yes, I said it. Uh, I'm going to give you my hypothesis of what I think going to happen. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm looking at these pitchers today, and I'm, I'm familiar with the name. I'm going to show you how to become familiar with the name. All you got to do is bet, win or lose, adjust. Add a plus, do what you got to do. So, I'm familiar with the name, so I'm going to give you my guess for the day. And I haven't watched no baseball preseason. I haven't watched no baseball, period. I do not watch baseball. But I am familiar with who sucks, who eats cheese, and who don't got no cheese. You understand what I'm saying? So, we're going to keep this short today. And it's the MLB first day. And, uh... Yeah, I'll watch out for them Lakers, too. Uh, that was a bonus uh, tip right there. Well, I'll watch out for them Lakers. They hot. And I ain't just no Lego fan. But uh, MLB, today we got the Braves and the Nationals. We're going to click on it, of course. It's the first game of the year, so you got nothing. Braves visited the Nationals for the season opener. The last time they played, the Nationals won. The Nationals suck. So my pick for the day, uh, being a baseball man, as you can see that Braves line, negative 265. I will, of course, the Nationals was hot for the preseason. If you can check their preseason record, they did pretty good. But Pete Corbin sucked. Well, we it's a new game, so we're not going to depend on Corbin. But if my pick for today would be the Braves win, but I'm not going with that. I'm going with the first inning. The first inning is where is it? You understand what I'm saying? Why would I wait all day when I could bet the first inning and get the same line, same money pay? We're going to bet this first inning. So me, naturally, I say the Nationals don't score in this first inning. Of course, all systems won't let you just pick Nationals. You might have to pick the whole inning. So I would say Nationals no score. Hell, the Braves might not even score. It's a, it's a new season. But I'm going to keep it short, and I'm going to move on. And when I get to uh, my casino, I'm going to show you all how I would pick Nationals no score, and I will pick money on it. So I say Nationals no score. And after this, after this, these games today, I'm going to come back and do a review and show you all. But I say Nationals don't score. Okay, we got two scoring teams in the Giants and Yankees. How I know they scoring team from the past? They usually score. Yankees usually gonna score good, but Yankees got their ace up there. Everybody got their ace pretty much starting off. Not all of them, but Cole is the ace. Um, so I would say the Giants don't score in the first inning, especially being that they at the top of the inning. Everybody not gonna be warm, so Giants don't score. We got Red Sox and Orioles. I'm not gonna deal with it. Uh, we got Brooke. 
Brewers and the Cubs, uh, Strowman, Burns. I would say Cubs no score. Cubs are usually pretty sneaky, and they like to steal that second base from first base. When they get on first base, they like to steal second base. And they get pretty close to scoring, but I say Cubs no score. Uh, McClanahan. It's McClanahan. He's pretty good. Tigers no score. I'm not going to say Rays no score. Rodriguez, uh, I think he's decent too, but I'm just going to say Tigers no score. Aaron Nola for the Phillies playing the Rangers. Uh, the grown, the grown, pretty good too. But I'm not gonna rap the grown, so I say Rangers don't score. Royals and Twins, Grinky, I don't deal with that Grinky. I don't like him no more. Uh, I, I this one I kind of skip. If I had to say anything, I say Royals don't score. I would kind of skip that. Marlins and Mets, Alcantara, uh, Scherzer, however you pronounce these name, I say this whole game nobody score. Alcantara, he is a uh, what they call an ace. I say Mets don't score. I say Marlon don't score, even though they probably do score. But that's what I say. So we're going to come make a check on it. This is first inning now. Pirates and Reds, Hunter Green. I'm saying Pirates don't score. Really? Oh, hey, matter of fact, Pirates and Reds don't score. Mets no score. Marlon no score. Pirates no score. Reds no score. No, no, we we guessing, but, you know, we coming up with a hypothesis. Blue Jays and Cardinals, them two scoring teams also. They will hit the ball. Uh, I'm not going to bet against them. It's just I just kind of peep. White Sox and Astro. DC is a pretty good pitcher. Astro is a pretty good hitter. Valdez is a pretty good pitcher, Um, but I would leave it alone. But I would say the White Sox no score. Padres and Rackets. Of course, Rackets no score. B. Snell, he decent. Uh, G. Marquez, he, he decent too. But I'm not going to go against the Padres. I say Rackets no score. Otani. Yeah, everybody know who Otani If you don't know who he is, then you don't know who he is, because I once didn't know who he is, but I bet on pitchers, so of course I know who he is. A's don't score. No, I'm sorry. A's as in athletics, not the Angels. A, the Oakland Athletics, no score. Guardians and Mariners. We got two great pitchers up. Uh, however you pronounce his name, B. Beer and Castillo. I say no, now one of the teams score. No team score. Diamondbacks and Dodgers. Zach Gallon, he's an ace. You rise, he's an ace. So, of course, no team, no score. It's risky going against the Dodgers, but Diamondbacks and Dodgers are not scoring. So we're going to have a recap review, and we out of here. I told you I'm going to keep it short. Nationals, no score. Giants, no score. Cubs, no score. Tigers, no score. Rangers, no score. Mets and Marlins, no score. Pirates, no score. White Sox, no score. Rockets, no score. A's, Athletics, no score. Guardians and Mariners, no score. Diamondbacks and Dodgers, no score. We're going to come back after the game and check on that. I'm scrolling down the hockey, but mind for go, you already know what it is. Uh, UAB to, I pick UAB to win the entire thing. Watch out for the Lakers. Just giving y'all some bonuses. Uh, go to nice victory. Uh, Kraken, Kraken victory, however you pronounce it. I pick Underdog Kings victory. I pick Hurricanes victory. I pick Penguins victory. I pick Panthers victory. Bruins victory. Negative 455. Never good to choose. And that's these are the victories that we choose. Mind for go, you already know what it is. Go back and watch my old video. How to pick a winning ticket using FanDuel. That was a winning ticket that I showed you. If you didn't go with it, you lost. I gave you my MLB first game, first inning, first season day prediction. I'm showing you how to pick it because I know. I don't watch sports. That's my disclaimer. Mind for go, you already know what it is.